AP scores came out yesterday and I got a 5 on the AP physics exam, exam and so in celebration I'm making another Beyblade video to show that I still got it. Also because I want to upload more so I get monetized. Anyways, I'll be looking at 3 completely separate scenarios from different episodes and I'll link them in the description. And also thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. Dark Bulls attack as forced eagle into the grainy clutches of a sand trap. The more it struggles, the further it will be pulled down. It's all over. It'll be my fault that the world championships are over for us. That just isn't going to happen. If looks can kill me, baby, I'm the fashion demon. Right? Do not cross me! I have two problems here. One, how much angular velocity did Eagle gain? And two, what is the energy needed to become a dragon? Pretty common questions here. After doing some research, this Beyblade wiki said Earth Eagle weighs 35.87 grams, but we need mass so we divide by gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared, to get a mass of 3.66 grams. And I estimated the radius to be about 3.81 centimeters. Then from that, we need to find the initial angular velocity. So I used a really credible source, and I saw that the average RPM of a launch is 6,000 to 8,000 RPM. And the sky is kind of built, so I'm guessing 7,500 RPM launch speed, which is 125 revolutions per second giving us the initial angular speed. In the sand shot though, since Eagle is drastically slower, I slowed down the footage to 0.25 speed to try and count the rotation. And I got 18 revolutions per second. So now here's what I'm thinking. There's two possible explanations for why this happened. Either his performance drug kicked in mid-match, or he used a brawl series hypercharge. Obviously, the hypercharge is more realistic. A hypercharge adds 25% speed to your character, and Eagle looks like he gained speed from the original launch. So multiply the 125 revolutions per second by 1.25, and we get 156.25 revolutions per second, meaning he gained 786.1% angular velocity. Now for the dragon thingy, all I really know how to do is calculate the heat energy from the Beyblade, and my Asian friends said that the dragon is in the gas tank. So we'll calculate the energy needed to get there. So the Beyblade is made out of zinc. I know this from intensive research. And since it starts out in the solid phase, there's a few components we need to take account of. The energy taking the temperature from one phase to another phase, as well as the energy during the phase changes, which is nuanced for each one. Also, it takes place in Japan, so I'm assuming the initial temperature is like 25 degrees Celsius. So we have to add up all of the energies together, and we get Q equals M times the specific heat as a solid times delta T plus M heat of fusion plus M C liquid delta T plus M heat of vaporization. After doing those calculations, we get 434,703 joules. Final match of the survival battle is heating up with both bays attacking head on. No holds barred. You can do it, Jenga. These two are so evenly matched. So I'm gonna be straight with you. I don't know how this five-year-old kid got a hold of this technology, but it's something. Now I'm gonna make an assumption here and say that the Beyblade emitted radiation. I'm only guessing that because it kind of reminds me of something. But the formula for heat transfer of radiation is Q heat in joules over time equals sigma, which is a constant, times E, another constant, times A, the surface area, and capital T to the fourth which is the absolute temperature. And since A is the surface area, we can look at the view and see that the energy seems to be half the radius of the plateau, which I'm just gonna say is a circle with a radius of 60 meters, so the radiation would be 30 meters, giving us a surface area of 2,827.43 meters squared. The estimated temperature of this specific shade of green light is about 5,100 Kelvin. And since the scene runs for 142 seconds, we can solve for the heat emitted by the Beyblade by multiplying both sides by T. This gives us 4.186 times 10 to the 13 joules. I don't think I'm exactly right, but I, I don't think anyone should be alive. Oh, <laughs> 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 
なのか Let's two kids do this. This is something only like Kanye would do. But regardless, let's try and calculate the mass of each Beyblade required to stop a literal astro. Because I looked everywhere and it seems actually impossible. So the Beyblades are launched, and I'ma just presume it's the speed of light. Like I don't know what else would be accurate. But then they join together to form one entity which doubles the mass, but there is no loss in velocity. Also, I'll assume the masses are the same, which gives us P equals 2MV. Then they collide and stop the asteroid, but I'm gonna guess they stick together. The average asteroid has a mass of 4 times 1020 kg and moves at about 18 kilometers per second. This gives us the momentum of the Beyblade minus the momentum of the asteroid equals the final momentum, which is zero. So we get 2MV minus the mass and velocity of the asteroid is equal to zero. Then simplifying gives us m equals mv over 2. And then converting the asteroid's velocity to meters per second and calculating the answer gives us 0.1224 kg or 122.4 grams. Somewhat realistic. Oh, and of course, finally, uh, the asteroid is destroyed and uh, everyone died. <laughs>